Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a different way to make a bookmark. And before I get started, I would like to tell you guys that I have lost my pen pal virginity. <laughs> That's correct. I have exchanged happy mail with a friend that I've met on YouTube. Her name is Karen and her channel is Coco Aerial Design. And she has sent me so many beautiful stuff in the mail. I could not believe it. I just love how she thinks about different way of creating stuff. It actually resonates with my channel, like I love creating things from scrap. And she does the same thing. She creates so many different beautiful things using home items. So I really want to share with you two things that she has sent me and I absolutely fell in love with. Now, I have seen so many different pocket folders um, on Etsy, on YouTube video, on all the setup videos and everyone's pocket folder is different and beautiful and all, all, all the things that you can think of. But one thing that stood out to me when I saw Karen's video was this. So she made me this beautiful shaker, right, with my name on it, Beauty and the Beast themed pocket folder. It's so clever. She uses this in one of her um, wallet setup and basically it has a Velcro. You see this? And that means it stays um, shut and it keeps everything contained and put together. And then it has another flap where you can put your cash here, where you don't have to fold your cash, it automatically folds it. So I'll have things, receipts and stuff in here, but if I wanted to pay by cash, I'll just flip this over and like it can reveal the cash. I thought it was absolutely genius. While we were texting, I, I told her that how much I am looking forward to Beauty and the Beast movie. It was one of my favorite Disney uh, princess movie when I was young. So what she did, um, she did a themed one and I just, I just love her work and the detail she put in. So this is black with music pattern on it because the movie has a huge music element to it. The music and the dance and everything. So she did it all with a paper that is uh, with music notes. But inside, she did it with a paper that uh, matches the colour of the dress. How thoughtful is that? So I'm really encouraging Karen to sell this on her Etsy. I think these are going to be so popular and she's so creative to be able to create something like this. Another thing she made me is this. It's a handmade, she made it by hand, um, a pouch for my Traveller's Notebook. And she made it so nicely. Look at the amount of detail she put into it. And the best thing is inside where it says handmade. Today's video will be about this little floof you're looking at it and if you have seen my thumbnail picture you know exactly how it looks. This is a bookmark. Now I'll tell you and I think a lot of people know that I cannot deal with dangly uh, bookmarks or heavy bookmarks that sticks at the top. As much as I love to see other people's traveler's notebook with um, charms and beautiful jewelry and um, paper clips for my lifestyle, it will never work, and I know that. That's why I try to stay away from them. I do have loads of cute paper clips and stuff, but I use it for my home binders and stuff like that. On a traveler's notebook, you won't see it. But this is an exception. If I put it in my backpack, even if it gets battered, it's just a little floof. I can fix it up again, and it, it practically has no weight to it. It's, it's weight-free, and it just looks really nice. And it's, it's mint color, so it matches with my tablet's notebook. So I'll show you how it works. So basically, it's just a bookmark, like a, like a magic wand. So here it is. Isn't this cute? It's almost like a makeup brush for your traveler's notebook. I thought it was really cute and kind of different. Everyone's doing the paper clips and the, the charms, um, but I thought I'll do something a bit different that will work for me and some other people might appreciate it. So it's basically just like a wand. You can let it peek out a little bit if you wanted to, but I like the full length and just the floof showing. So I'll show you how to make it, stay tuned. Okay, so the things you'll need to make this bookmark is some sort of straw so I have this one I did not buy the plastic ones because I don't think the glue will hold well so just get a paper one you will need glue as well you'll need scissors you will need some sort of thread that is very sturdy I'm using nylon thread but if you don't have a nylon thread make sure to just loop thread through a needle and that will work as well and you will need the best part which is the wool so just use any kind of wool that you have in your house I just bought these three from Poundland ages ago so I'm using these okay so 
You have the straw here, so I'll just leave it aside and first start working with the wool. So I'll use the pink one, it has a little bit sparkly as well, so I love that. Depending on how long you want the floof to be, mine is quite short, you will have to um, determine the length you want. So for this video I'll show you a length that goes from here to here, so same size as the straw, and just keep folding over it, so it goes. If you want to make the floof a bit sparse, then you don't have to fold that many times. If you want to make it very full, like a makeup brush, then um, keep uh, making several folds. I think it's about one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I would say about six and seven folds. So I'll just cut it off. Okay, so now I've got this fold. I'll just leave it aside. Now the next part is you want a wall that is the same sort of length as the straw and just leave a little bit spare as well and then fold it okay and then cut it off so now you have a huge amount of string that is the double length of the straw so now you get the floof and this is what you do you find the middle of the string just about middle and do this and try to keep it in the central okay can you see that and now I'm going to just tie it up. Okay, so I put like about four knots in there. You don't have to do that many. So now I have this little string and this nice bit of floof. Okay, before we start working with the thread, I want you to tie a knot at the end of the bookmark. So here's the bookmark, there's the thread, and I just want you to tie a little knot here. So once you have done that, you get your thread like so. This is the nylon thread I'm talking about. Uh, they are quite sturdy so it's easier to work with. If you don't have a nylon thread then I would suggest you use a normal thread and a needle that will work. If you have normal thread and needle this is what you would do. So you would put the thread through here and then you would find the needle. So think this is a needle and you know put it through the needle and tie a knot. So all I'm doing is just looped it through. So now I have a thread that can tug onto the bookmark. So this is when I get my straw and I put the thread through. Okay, so once you have the other end showing out of your straw, this is exactly what you want. You can just pull it now and leave this bit hanging out for now. This is when you'll start using the glue, so I suggest you use some sort of PVC glue, okay, and start pouring the glue through. So this is kind of messy, but if you have tissue or something lying about, it should, should be just fine. Okay, so I've tried to put as much glue as I could, so this is the fun part. You just pull the thread through the straw, so here it goes. It's pulling, pulling, it's getting all the... The strings pulled and it came out of the other end it has some glue attached to it as well so it's just pulling the glue all the way through the straw and um, attaching glue on the walls of the of the straw inside so now all you have to do is pull a bit more so that your floof is inside the straw this is why I like to work with few folds of straw because if you make it too full then it's quite hard to pull it through the straw if, if that makes sense. Right, so I've got this situation here. Now you will um, decide how long you want your floof to be. I like my floof to be just about, just about there. So I'll get my scissors and I'll cut the excess um, floof at the top. So here is the floof, here is the end. Now you have to flatten the straw. So if you have a bone folder this is going to be really handy. I don't have one so I'm just folding it with my hand and really squeezing it. Okay so I've tried my best to flatten it kind of and then now I'll measure the length of my notebook. So it's kind of the same length as this part and then I'll cut I'll just chop off the excess. So here we go you have a really nice fluffy bookmark that looks kind of festive because of the stripes. If you can't find a stripey straw then you can use a plain uh, paper straw and then after finishing all the steps you can wrap washi tape around it so it will give it a different spin. After making this bookmark I suggest you put it um, under some heavy books so it will make it really flat and flush 
as much as it can. So once it's really completely flattened and the glue has dried out, you can start using your bookmark. So here it goes. Here's my traveler's notebook. I'll open it up. Say I want to bookmark this bit. Just put it there. And there it goes. Isn't it nice? It looks really cute and it just barely peeks out, but it just has the nicest floof ever. And it, it photographs really well as well. So that's my pink bookmark. And here's my minty one. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, seeing how to make this, and I hope you guys make one for yourself. If you have made one of these, please show me and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your variation of how you have created these sort of bookmarks. My one looks really nice, and I, I, I'm really happy, and it barely weights anything, so you can put several in your notebook, and your notebook won't weigh down. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you again later. Bye!